today I'm going to be showing you how you can turn your FPS from looking like this to looking more like this. To start, I'm going to show you the best possible in-game settings. For display mode, I'd recommend putting it on full screen, but if you alt tab a lot, windowed full screen works as well. For your resolution, I'd recommend keeping it as your native one for your monitor. For me, that's 1080p. And the only other setting I'd recommend changing in this section is NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. I'd recommend setting this to either on or on plus boost. This will just help reduce latency. Now in the graphics quality settings, I'd set multi-threaded rendering to on. And then for material quality, texture quality, detail quality and UI quality, I'd set all these to low. This will give you the most FPS. For vignette, I'd recommend setting this to off. And when it comes to V-Sync, you're going to want to turn this off. As having V-Sync turned on will give you a bit of input delay. For anti-aliasing, you're going to want to set this to MSAA2X. And for anisotropic filtering, you're going to want to set this to 4X. Having these two settings on just make the game look a lot better. But if you want the most frames, turn these off. Then for improved clarity, experimental sharpening, bloom, distortion and cast shadows, you're going to want to turn these all off. When it comes to the general settings, most of these are personal preference, but one I would recommend changing is enemy highlight colour. By default it's red, which is fine, but I think yellow or purple stand out a lot more. I personally have this set to yellow. Another setting you might want to change is raw input buffer. Having this turned on will give you less input delay. And the rest of these settings are all personal preference. And after applying these settings, your FPS should be way higher.